non such palace was a Tudor royal palace, built by Henry VIII in Surrey, England. It stood from 1538 to 1682 Euro 3. Its site lies in non such park on the boundaries of the borough of Epsom and Ewell in Surrey and the London borough of Sutton. Background Non such palace in Surrey was perhaps the grandest of Henry VIII's building projects. It was built on the site of Cardington, near Ewell, the church and village having been destroyed and compensation paid to create a suitable site. Work started on April 22, 1538, the first day of Henry's 30th regnal year, and six months after the birth of his son, later Edward VI. Within two months the name Nantes such appears in the building accounts, its name a boast that there was no such palace elsewhere equal to it in magnificence. Construction had been substantially carried out by 1541, but it would take several more years to complete. As the royal household took possession of vast tracts of surrounding acreage, several major roads were rerouted or bypassed to circumvent what became non such great park. The palace was designed to be a celebration of the power and the grandeur of the Tudor dynasty, built to rival Francis I's car sent to de Chambord. Unlike most of Henry's palaces, Non such was not an adaptation of an old building. He chose to build a new palace in this location because it was near to one of his main hunting grounds. The palace cost at least a £24,000 because of its rich ornamentation and is considered a key work in the introduction of elements of Renaissance design to England. Later history, the palace was incomplete when Henry VIII died in 1547. In 1556 Queen Mary I sold it to Henry Fitzalan, 19th Earl of Arundel, who completed it. It returned to royal hands in the 1590s, and remained royal property until 1670, when Charles II gave it to his mistress, Barbara, Countess of Castlemaine. She had it pulled down around 1682 Euro 3 and sold off the building materials to pay gambling debts. Some elements were incorporated into other buildings. For example the wood panelling can still be seen today in the Great Hall at Loosley Park. No trace of the palace remains on its site today but some pieces are held by the British Museum. There is, however, a discernible rise of land where the old Cuddington Church used to be, before it was demolished to make way for the palace. Non such palace should not be confused with non such mansion, which is at the east of the park nor its associated banqueting hall whose foundations are still visible to the southeast of the palace site. In 1585 the Treaty of Nonsuch was signed by Elizabeth I of England and the Netherlands at the palace. Archaeology, only about three contemporary images of the palace survive, and they do not reveal very much about either the layout or the details of the building. The site was excavated in 1959 a Euro 60. The plan of the palace was quite simple with inner and outer courtyards, each with a fortified gatehouse. The exterior and outer courtyard were quite plain, but the inner courtyard was decorated with breathtaking stucco panels molded in high relief. To the north, it was fortified in a medieval style, but the southern face had ornate Renaissance decoration, with tall octagonal towers at each end. It was within one of these towers that the premiere of Thomas Tallis' masterwork, Speminalium, was perhaps performed. Following the digging of the trenches in World War II, it was reported that pieces of pottery had been discovered in the area, later found to be from the site of the palace. An outline of the site layout was also visible from the air, providing additional evidence in the search for the location of the site. The 1959 excavation of Nonsuch was a key event in the history of archaeology in the UK. It was one of the first post-medieval sites to be excavated, and attracted over 75,000 visitors during the work. This excavation led to a major set of developments in post-medieval archaeology. Gardens John Speed's map of Surrey has an insert depicting the palace and a part of its gardens, including some of the principal ornaments. These are also known from detailed drawings in the Red Velvet Book, the 1590 Lumley Inventory. See also, Artists of the Tudor Court, Non Such, Non Such House on Old London Bridge, Loosely Park. Notes. Further reading, Dent, John, 1962. Quest for Non Such. Hutchinson. ISBN 0-09-105140-1. Biddle, 
Martin. Nonsat Palace, The Material Culture of a Noble Restoration Household. Oxbow Books. ISBN 978-1-900188-34-0. Biddle, Martin. The Gardens of Nonsuch, Sources and Dating. Garden History 27, 145 Euro 183. External links, A Historical Record of Nonsuch Palace, An Account of the Excavation of Nonsuch Palace.